Hi students, so today uh, we'll be learning about how uh, to create uh, our own good stories. But before, before we do that, we'll be reading uh, a story for, uh, for kindergarten called Grow Up David um, by David Shannon. And then we'll be creating our own summaries, illustrated summaries, and changing the ending. But before we do that, um, Let's talk a little bit about what makes a good story. Can anybody tell me what makes a good story? A good plot. Um, very good. Um, what else? And interesting characters. Uh, very good. Um, explain a little more um, what you mean by good characters. Um, they uh, offer different things to the story. Like there's several characters and they all have like aspects like at different aspects to them that bring um, interesting parts to the story, like they change throughout the story. Uh, very good. That's what we call um, flat versus uh, round characters. Um, so characters are not flat. They, they actually change. And sometimes uh, stories also, good stories have uh, good messages to share with the audience. Um, but before we create our own stories, we'll practice with this story, Grow Up David, um, by uh, creating our own illustrated summaries and switching the ending just to give us a little bit more practice before we dive in into creating our own original stories. Okay. So. So Grow Up David by David Shannon. David's big brother always said, no, David, you're too little. Stop following me. Grow up, David. Very funny, David. David did it. You can see what did David do here. He played with the toilet paper. And he put it all in the bathroom. Yeah, not very good, was it? <clears throat> and here we see David eating a whole bunch of junk food. That's mine. Go ahead. Call mom. Give it back, David. Have a nice trip. Make me, he hit me first. Yeah, David's little brother's upset here. Thanks, David. A lot. Want to play? David, are you okay? Nice catch, Dave. That was, wait, keep out, that means you, David. So as you can, as you can see, this is a relatively simple story, but uh, what was it, what was it about? Um, David being a mischievous kid and doing things he shouldn't be doing and his brother being mad at him for not acting. For, well, for acting immature and being little. I mean, he's telling him to grow up because he's doing all those crazy things. Yeah, very good. So now we're, we're going to create our, our own book. It's relatively simple. You just fold um, a, uh, a piece of regular computer paper, printer paper. You fold it in half like this. And then you turn it, begin writing. Um, so, <clears throat> but, um, but before we start, how would you change the ending? Mm. Um, 
maybe David cleaning all the mess he made. That, that's a good idea. Um, what else? Um, uh, his brother being nicer to him, like he was being, like David was being, uh, doing all those things. Maybe his brother could be nicer. And tell him, like, help him play with him or help him clean. Or, like, just help tell him in a nicer way to behave. Um, those are uh, very excellent ideas. Um, so now that we have some ideas in mind, we can start um, writing um, our, our summary. Here. And this one will probably won't take a lot of pages, but here you can keep adding, folding it, folding the pieces of computer paper. Um, just like this, making sure that the edges match. Just keep adding, and your first first page will be your title, title or cover page. Okay, I've got markers and crayons here and pencils. So you guys can get started. Um, this is this is a uh, a group project. You can each um, write. Write a page in this in the sentence. That way, it shows all your uh, hard work. So we write a summary, or do we change the ending? Both. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just pictures, or do we write? Um, like pictures the... and sentences, because this is uh, good practice for you for when you do your own story. Okay. Yeah. Give me your cover. Give me your hands. I'll say you have a little bit. Give me. And then he was doing all kinds of all kinds of crazy things. And he and then he was in the bathroom with the toilet paper. But all around the bathroom being crazy. You wanna draw something? He he uh when he threw the football. There were very good. I like how you're helping her out because it seems like she's having a bit of trouble. So that is a uh, very good uh, teamwork. I like that. Yes. Um, oh, we anyway, we could also draw his brother told him, go up, David. His brother, a bubble, girl, up, oh. David, okay, David was not acting very nice. And then we can continue doing the summary, but we can change the ending over here and we can draw can you draw his David and his brother be being nice to each other working together Yes. Okay, so we got, that's the R ending. We'll work, we did our summary and R. Yeah, I think you could add a little more to your, uh, to your uh, summary. And maybe here on the alternate ending, you didn't, um, 
We didn't. We didn't uh, write because it's both a uh, written summary and pictures, like I said. Yeah. But otherwise, yeah, I think you're you're off to a very good start. And then, of course, at the end, um, you'll have to color color in your your awesome book. All right, and um, tomorrow you'll um, you'll um, present your summary and alternate ending uh, to to the class, and then we'll start working on our original uh, fresh uh, stories. Okay. okay.